high linear algebra students. In the section of LU factorization, you have two videos to watch. This one, where we are finding the LU factorization of a matrix, and the next one, in which you are given an LU factorization and you need to solve for a system using that LU factorization. These are pretty much the two questions that we could ask. All right, so find the LU factorization of this matrix. And we are also um, asked a sub-question, which is to write the matrix L as a product of elementary matrices, okay? So, <clears throat> okay, let's start with A. We have like 2, 5, 1, 4, um, 4, 9, 4, and negative 2, negative 8, 8, okay? I want to remind you the LU factorization, how it works is that we're row reducing A by using only row replacement, nothing else, okay? Uh, if we have to use another operation, what it means is that the matrix doesn't have a LU factorization, but I won't try to trick you with this, okay? So, uh, okay, here we can do two operations at once, but be careful because each have their own uh, effect on the matrix L. So we're going to do here uh, row 2 becomes row 2 minus 2 row 1, okay? And remember that in the matrix L, what you have to do is to, uh, well, actually, let's write it like the, the matrix L, uh, and it's going to be the second row, first column. There you go. So L to 1 will be equal to positive 2. So what you have to do is to imagine the reverse row operation and give it that entry because that's how we figured out what L uh, was. Okay. Now this row operation that we're doing at the same time, so row three becomes row three plus two, uh, plus row one actually, there we go, means that L31, so third row, first column of L, will be equal to negative one, right? The reverse of adding a row is subtracting the row. So there you go, like you will have a negative one in that matrix. So now, of course, you have to actively perform the row reduction because that's how you find the matrix U. Uh, okay, so we have here 0, 1, 2, and then we have here 0, and we're going to have negative 3, and 8 plus 1, I believe, yeah, 9. There we go. Now, after this, uh, we're going to do row 3 becomes row 3. So, row 3 plus 3 row 2. Okay. And there, uh, we get the drill, right? So, L3, 2 will be equal to negative 3. And now we get our uh, row reduction, which is... Uh, let's see, 2, 5, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 0, 0, and 9 plus 6 is going to give you 15. Here we are. <clears throat> now, remember that this is our U. Okay, so this is the matrix U that we were looking for. And the matrix L... So, um, L, well, remember, you put, it, it, it must be unit diagonal. So, we know that the first row is going to be like 1, 0, 0. Then we're going to have 1, 0, and 1. And the rest of the entries are determined by the row operations that we did. So, L2, 1, which is 2. Okay. Then, L3, 1, which is negative 1. And L3, 2, which is negative 3. So that is the answer to the first uh, part of the question. So we know that A will be equal to LU. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the color code just because um, the only thing I'm doing here is I'm, re I'm writing the L that we found and the U that we found. So here, 2, negative 1, and negative 3. <clears throat> From there, we want to write L as a product of elementary matrices. So you could remember by heart the formula, but honestly, it's not a good study technique because if you forget it, you need to be able to recover it. So let's actually review this small part of the class, okay? So uh, what, what, did we, what did we get here? So we know that uh, A is row reduced, uh, we know that A got row reduced to, to U, which means that we know that um, we first performed E1, okay, the green E1, like this is the first row operation that we performed. The second one was E2, okay? And the third one was E3. Uh, there, okay, yeah, E3, okay? This is what was performed on A in order to get U. And this means uh, by just by uh, reverting, uh, by multiplying by the corresponding inverse one after another, we know that uh, A is going to be equal to uh, E3 minus, uh, no, E1, yeah, E1 minus 1 must be written first. Uh, well, if you have any doubt, the best thing to do is to actually do it. Right? So you first multiply both sides by E3 inverse, then multiply both sides by E2 inverse, then multiply both sides by E1 inverse. Okay? So that's what you get. Okay? Times U. And remember in class what we discovered was that, well, actually, and you see it even from here, we discovered that this is our matrix L. Now, it's easy to recover all of these elementary matrices because we have their entries to negative one, three, okay? So in other words, we have our answer that L is gonna be equal to E1 negative one. So meaning one, zero, zero, two, one, zero, 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 one, okay? times the second row operation, like inverse of the second row operation. So it will be one, zero, 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 one, zero, and negative one, zero, one. And finally, the, the reverse of the third row operation, which we have here, the, uh, the, the entry of negative three, we're gonna have one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, negative three, and one. And there you are. So this and this are the full answer to the problem. I hope this helps. See you in the next video.